Hi everybody, my name is Billy D'Addario and I'm the Hippie Chick. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make this um, gift card holder. And then the gift card just slips right inside there. So, um, let's get started. To start with, you'll need a piece of paper that measures 9.5 by 6. A solid um, cardstock paper. Then you'll need a piece of paper that measures five and a quarter by four inches, a piece of paper that measures three and three fourths by five inches, and then for the envelope on the inside you'll need a piece of paper that measures five by five. So let's start by by working with the piece that measures nine and a half by six, and we will um, score that. So let me get my scoreboard out. Set this over here. Scoreboard. And we measure on the, um, we start with the short side at the top, and we measure, and we score, I'm sorry, we score that at a half an inch. Then on the long side, we measure, um, we score at four and a half, and at nine inches. Okay. And then we need to do um, some cutting. But before we do the cutting, I'm going to do um, some embossing. And we're going to emboss a Christmas tree again. Okay. And you want to, the front of your card is going to be the card, the side that has the, um, the skinny side on it. Okay, and you want to make sure that the the embossing um, part is, uh, is on the front of your card and just center it. We'll put it in our in our sandwich here. Center it again because it came undone. There we go. Those aside, and then we will. Um, this has got a really deep, nice burnish to it. We'll fold and burnish everything. Okay, so this is the back. So from the back, we want to we want to um, carefully trim away the bottom, and we want to angle into the front, and then just cut straight across here. Then we need the red line tape to tape this up. And you want to put your red line tape closest to the edge. Uh, 
on the two small flaps. in and across here like so there we go and then we need to take this piece of paper here we need to round the corners This, take this piece of paper, this will fit just right there, but we want to round the corners for this too. Okay, and then we'll put some um, Tombow um, adhesive dots on here. If you have a directional pattern on your paper, make sure that you consider that when you place your paper down. Then we need to poke a hole in the paper. Okay. And then I have some red ribbon here, and we need about seven inches. We need, a, we need a piece that's seven inches, and we need a smaller piece. And we need a, a piece that's, well, I'm going to cut it at seven again, just to, okay, we're going to feed this through here. Well, actually, we're going to, yeah, we're going to feed this through here. Like so. Then we're gonna take we're gonna take a piece of baker's twine. We're gonna tie a piece of baker's twine around it. You want to tie a knot and then a bow. It's going to be a teeny tiny little bow. Trim the ends. All right, there we go. We want to take our five by five paper and we want to make an envelope for our gift card. And we're going to use um, the envelope punch board and we're the gift card size. And so the, um, it's a five by five piece of paper and then the score line is two. So you put this score line on there. Oops, I forgot. I've got to score. Okay, then you line up that score line with this little blue doohickey. And the 
again you are supposed to score and then line it up and punch and score line it up there we go okay and we're not going to round the corners because no one is going to see any of the corners on this particular you want to take this this tape about halfway up If you want to, you know, double check yourself, you can. Oops. This one off, the, the red backing off of both of those, and then we want to close it up. And then we want to take a pair of scissors and we're going to just cut as close to the line as we can get. There we go. And then we're going to cut this back piece off following the um, score line. Okay. And then this will just slip right on there like so. Center it between the ends and the hole. So I'm just kind of eyeball it. Okay, what I'm doing now is there's some um, adhesive that didn't get. Remove, so I'm gonna try and remove it. Okay, better. Okay, on the other one, I, um, where did it go? Where did I put it? It's right here. Um, on the other one, I stamped on the inside, to and from, but then I thought, after I did that, that that's not the best place to have that stamped, so on this one here, we're going to stamp on the back real quick. To and from.
So on the back, I'll just have to and from stamped on there. Okay, I'll wipe this off with a, a baby wipe. And then put it back where it goes. Okay, but this looks pretty plain. So let's see if we can put some stamp something else. How about, how about Christmas? We can stamp Christmas. I think we'll just take Merry Christmas here. It's one word. is a new set of stamps so everything is really sticky holy cow there we go Some green ink. Red ink. Brown ink. Purple. Green. Okay. Here we go. Merry Christmas. And I did use green ink. It doesn't look very green here, but it is it, it is absolutely green ink that I used. It was green stays on. Let's see the exact colors that he does well. Forest green. Clean the stamp. Put it back real quick. I appreciate your time today. Thank you for crafting with me. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the uh, box below so that way I can answer them. If you have any questions or comments, uh, let's put this together. I'm really, I'm really pleased with how this turned out. Um, so, if you enjoyed this video, found it helpful in any way, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Consider um, subscribing to my channel, and of course, if you know of anyone who might benefit from this video. I hope you'll share this, this with, this with them. Um, till next time. See you later. Bye.